Kankin Sling fit all of your daily essentials? Let's talk about it. Kankins are made out of vinylin, which proves to be a very sturdy material. It is definitely on the smaller size with a 20 centimeter height, 15 centimeter width, and an eight centimeter depth. As you can see, it fits an iPad mini perfectly. But what about all your other tech? Here are some of the daily items that I would take with me. Mine is my keyboard, which is my travel keyboard, but I usually leave it at home because it definitely does not fit the Kankin sling. That pocket in the back is really good for your phone, your Kindle, your iPad mini, but really not much else because it's not very wide. Like all Kankin products, it does open up really well, which again, I really love because I'm not fishing around for stuff. So starting off with my iPad mini, here it goes into the back just so you can see, it does fit really snug. And so if you have a bigger case, it definitely will not fit. The Nintendo Switch OLED also does not fit, especially if you have the Joy-Cons connected. And here's the size just to show you that it's just slightly too small, unfortunately. A lot of people have also asked if a book will fit, and sadly, it probably will not, unless that's like the only thing you're carrying. Usually, if I'm out for the day and I want to read, I'll just pull up my iPad mini Kindle app and read that way instead. I made a video once about how haphazard I am with my tech and I kind of regret it because my Nintendo Switch Lite now has drift. Some of us learned the hard way though, so I still carry my Nintendo Switch OLED disconnected with just the Joy-Cons on the side. Also not super smart, but I often carry my games with me as well. Someone said that's not a great idea because if I lose it, I lose my whole library. They are right. This is my 5,000 milliamp hour charger. It charges my phone about twice and that's good enough, honestly. And for a long day trip, I usually wanna carry some other essentials like my headphones, as well as some kind of hand sanitizer. As you'll be able to see, the front pocket is really, really small. It usually can fit only like your AirPods or some headphones and like a chapstick. So it's not super useful, but it is there and the design aspect of it is actually nice. I tend to try to hide my Apple AirTags somehow within the bag just because that paranoia is kind of real. And so whether it's in the back or the side or somewhere that's not readily obvious, it's usually with me just in case I leave my bag in the car or anything else like that. Usually I'm holding on to my phone, but like you can tell it does fit if I continue to add on in a very Tetris kind of way. It really just depends if you're wanting to carry as much as you can in the bag versus just using it for some basic items from the day to day. Depending on whether you like to carry light or you carry everything you can with you for a day, this might or might not work for you given its size is just slightly smaller than some of the essentials people might want to bring. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on our next video.